Now we look into the configuration how to learn assets on the Checkpoint Management Server. In Microsoft Azure, we need to create an application or service principle. This application or service principle has an application ID and it's residing in our Active Directory. We need to define a shared secret that can be used by the Checkpoint Cloud Guard controller to use this object for reading the assets. So we call the application in the Active Directory menu. We select it from the App Registration or Service Principle main menu, not from the Enterprise Applications list. Then we have the option to define a shared secret. This is our shared secret here configured for the lab. And when you configure this shared secret, make sure you copy it immediately because once you save it, after a sh very short while, it's hidden and you can no longer exit it. We then need to assign a reader role to this application. To do this, again, we need to search for the application and then we select it under the Enterprise application list. And once we have selected it, we can assign a role and we assign the reader role to this application. Then we create a Cloud Guard controller object for Microsoft Azure, which is the tree that you see here. You go to Server, Data Center, Microsoft Azure, then you come to this window. You take the application ID, the tenant ID, and the shared secret, and then you are done. You then can import objects, and you see all the objects that are living inside your Microsoft Azure environment that we currently support in R80.40. Thank you for watching this.